This is the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. Trap comedy at its finest. Where if you can't slang yourself, you might as well hang yourself. This is also where you can turn yourself into dope and you become the real man. Whoa, yeah. Just want to start freestyling on that. Yeah, guess who's back in the motherfucking house with a fat Chicago Cubs dick in your mouth? Yes. Chicago Cubs, baby, I'm back. Yeah, that's good, What's baby. What's up, Farouk? That's cool. I'm glad that you're taking that shit a little bit too far, man. Be humble, man. After 108 years, you think? <laughs> you think? I got 108 I years it, and it's a couple of more months and all of that to celebrate. Chargers Super Bowl, baby. We going there. When? I don't know. All right, make, make that prediction. What's up? Welcome to the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. I'm your co-host, Jeff Arno. Um, to my left, we got my man, Rob. He's back in the house with What's us. What's going on, y'all? Hey, Robert back Jr. Here. Robert Jr., y'all. Once again. Hey, you know how we do it. And then we got to my right, the one and only, the inevitable, the one who occasionally fucks up them big words. My man Farouk, I missed you, man. Yeah, Two me weeks, too, man. man. Get to talk shit to you again, man. You got that funky ass Charger jacket on. Hey, man, it's fresh though, ain't it? Yeah. So y'all gonna win the Super Bowl? Yeah, one day. One day, one year. Yeah. Okay, cool. All Super right. Bowl's one day. Yeah. Okay, but February. it's a it's season though. Yeah. It's a season though. We are gonna do it. I feel good, man. I mean, really, the Chargers should really be seven and one right now. Well, we let a lot of games get away from us, man. But we got some momentum right now, man. Well, that's cool. I know you can't say shit about the Lakers. Right, really that. You know I was going to mention oh, that. I was up, waiting. Up. Actually, wait, wait, I was waiting wait, for you to mention that. Well, hold up. Well, hold up. Y'all need to pump y'all motherfucking oh, brakes. First of all. bullshit. Well, Chicago, what are we, like six and two? They look good, man. Thank you. So before y'all come at me from your the boy, left. Your boy D-Way right, went, went on back home, man. He yes. looked good in that Chicago. He really actually blends in real good like it was meant for him to play for Chicago, hey, man, man. You know what? He doing his dizzle, man. That's what we do. Well, come back home, you got to represent hard. And that's what he doing. That's why I'm representing my hometown, baby. I can't be mad at you. I know you. you can't, man. It's much love to you. Um, it is... Uh, Titty, Taco, and Tequila Tuesday. We yeah. hope you had yes, it in it that is. order. Yes, it is. I didn't have no tacos, though. I had some goddamn mocktails, and they was very delicious. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay, So cool. if anybody want to know, the place is called, what is it? Caroline's. Caroline's on the east side. They got some real good soul food, man. And you got your, you got your grub on today? Oh, man. Okay. You know that's killing you, though. But you don't care, though. No, not right now, man. I was hungry. Oh, and okay. I don't eat like that all the day. I, I I basically eat one meal a day. I drink a lot of water. You know what I'm saying? I eat a lot of vegetables and rough Mixed Mix with the tequila to cut it. Yeah. There but you go. Look it up. Tequila is actually good for you. Okay. I believe you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Paul. So it helps your digestive system. Cleans it all out. And that's yeah. what you need. Yeah. You know? Um, it's election day. We watching it. We finally here, uh, y'all. Man. Well, you know, actually, I'm kind of surprised. I'm really shocked. I'm, I, why at this that, point, it, it, well, it don't really matter. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not political or nothing. No. But no, hold like up. That. Why are you shocked that it's close? I think that I think that is, I thought it. I didn't think it was going to be this close, Jeff. I didn't either, man. I, I had no idea. I mean, he's actually winning in electoral votes right now, right. one thirty six to one hundred four. Yeah. Certain key states that the Democrats uh, once dominated. Uh, yeah, Trump doing this thing. He man. Uh, he but took he he took North Carolina. That once was I a think Democratic the enigma state. about him is he stands for change. You know what I'm saying? Really, whether you like him or not, he could be an asshole. Whatever could be an asshole. He yeah. is an asshole. Okay, but the thing is. An asshole is reliable because you know he's going to stay in character. Well, I mean, all assholes are assholes all the time. I don't see him changing. And like I said, I don't give a shit who they put up in there, man. They ain't finna put me up in there. So well, I don't. particularly do care who they put in. Well, there. not when I, when I look at it at broad span because I got a bigger picture. Because if you got your own money, you can call your own shots, just like he did at one point. When but he you can't to print your own money with your well, face. I ain't gonna on. need to print it. I just want to make it. You do you know? Me? Do you know the decrease of the American dollar? 
Yeah, but like I said, if, they, they, this is the bigger picture. Well, the American Amer- dollar has now become weak Thank in you. China. And Canada. America is on the verge of another third world war, which they don't tell you about. You know, they keep over publicizing a lot of shit that don't matter. And we don't understand how much that globally uh, the world as we know it has changed because Turkey was 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 a very good ally for Western people and European people in the Middle East. You know, they have left uh what's that, the UN and NATO. They walked away from that. The EU. And, yeah, the EU, uh European Union. Yep. And they have Where's subscribed that? towards making a global pact with China, Iran and Russia. So they're going to use their own form of currency and stop using the pound and stop using the euro. See, so a lot of us here seem to think that don't have nothing to do with us. But when that happens, the collapse of the dollar is near. So it don't matter how many dollars you out here scratching for to get. In a minute, if shit don't change, you can just wipe your ass with the money because all it's going to well, be worth is toilet paper. Well, back up. First of all, did you vote today? Yes, I did vote. Okay, congratulations. Robert, did you yeah. vote? I did. Okay, so it does matter. So you all got out there and vote. Yeah. Now, you can keep who you voted with presidential-wise. Um, U.S. Senator for California. Did you go with Kamala Harris? Or Come on, man. Okay, I'm going to cool. go with her. All I right. personally met that sister. She's a very humble woman, and yeah, she, she get is. things she done. She was over there out on um, 103rd and Central at the uh, Maxine Waters yeah. um, uh, uh, Occupational Center. Yeah. Let me tell you about this, that, that, that chick, man. She's a really sound chick when she's she talking is. about bringing it right back to the hood. Wait a minute. And she going to talk y'all, shit y'all both, both you motherfuckers for the like people. Donald Trump chick. Well, man, God damn it. Oh, no, it's that's sister. I call her sister. I didn't yeah, call her no chick. Okay, okay I, I respect the sister. I, per- I, I no, I personally met her. She's a wonderful person. She's a nice person. And she's for the people. And who better to talk shit in the U.S. Senate than a black woman from California? Exactly. She go get shit done, y'all. That's a good thing. So that's a beautiful thing, man. And that's really more important now, on voting to these state initiatives. Now, did you vote on any of those state initiatives? Any of those I did, props yeah. Today? I did. Okay. The couple of ones that standing out is like um, Prop 64, the legalization of marijuana. I know you down for it. Well, of actually, course. I smoke weed already, and I voted against that, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. When you have this drug as far as like instead of being it like in a medical sense prescribed towards people who have certain things that need it, whether you know you got the shit or not. It takes on a whole demographics if it become legal for recreational use, meaning that if you get caught in your car high, it's a DUI. If you get caught with marijuana that's that's not sealed in your car, they repossess your car. Right. Now, I seen the ad by Marlboros trying to make twenty packs of uh cannabis uh cigarettes and they're gonna charge like a hundred and twenty or some shit like that per wow. pack. For 20 cigarettes. So that right there is one thing. But see, when they start taxing it, it becomes a controlled substance like uh, prescription drugs or alcohol or anything else. And I don't I mean, kids get high anyway, but it makes it more accessible to our youth. And our youth is challenges uh, enough with all this shit that's going on in the world. Also, like you said, I I think it's when it becomes more commercialized. You know, then they that's when they start adding the preservatives and the additives. Thank to you. It. But, but, Thank you. And it but, takes you know, the natural on, it takes the natural from the ground because Thank now you. now you gotta put it in a factory and then it has to be commercialized and it has to go through. So all you that. wanna put more right. addictive additives yeah. in there, you wanna add a lot of stuff. So I, I, I don't necessarily go for that. Tobacco in its natural form, you know, it's not that good for you, but it's not as bad as uh, the new port and, you know, you cool yeah, because smoke. because they, they add the tar and all of that to it, yeah. you know, to preserve the tobacco. Formaldehyde. Yeah, and that's all, and that's all to yeah. preserve the leaves and all of that. And that's the same thing that's going to happen to make you more addictive. marijuana. Yeah. But wait a minute, you were just saying something about it being accessible. Man, the first time I smoked a joint was in 1974. Yeah, I understand you, that. This is what I'm saying is you know it's always been okay listen to me brother okay my first time growing weed i was 14 okay what i'm saying is more accessible is once it's illegal because when you buying it you had to know somebody to know somebody to get the weed it wasn't just like an open thing because at that time it was totally illegal 
Okay, so if right. you got caught with pots, you got jammed up by the cops. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's different. But what I'm saying is making it more accessible to where you can go to an AMP and get you some gas and buy you some weed. That is not really all that good for society. Now, another thing about that is when you have them making this controlled substance, even though I use it, but I'm speaking for the general health of society, when you have that as, as accessible, what you really do is you make people become more docile and you are more complacent. Because when you get high, what, what happened? You don't pretty much care, give a damn about what's going on. Yeah, you in, you in a relaxation mode. So this is why you have to use everything responsibly. You know what I'm saying? Like when I get off of work, you know, I pour me a couple of shots of tequila and I roll me up a fab one. Okay, but I'm not go go to court smelling like we. Right. So when you have a bunch of damn people going to court and going to work smelling like weed, when you got cops, they pulling you over and they lighting one up, then the world is going to shit, man. And that's what happened when you make it a recreational thing. And also they're trying now to come up with like a, a breathalyzer for weed. They trying they to do, even, they so got they're trying to do yeah, is but measure. It, yeah, but it hasn't been measured high. So yeah. now you're going to be able to like, so when they pull you over and stop you, Right, you know, because now they can write you up, you know, because now they consider him, you know, buzz high is also considered as a DUI. Yeah, you under the influence. Yeah. Right, so, but what I'm saying, they didn't have no way of measuring it, of telling whether somebody's high or not, as opposed to somebody who drinks. Okay, you this is me? why if your car smells like weed, they could just tell you to get out the car and take it. it I'm just trying to tell you what's going on. Yeah, it's more behind talk, the measures. This is what's going on. That's still driving under the influence. If they open your car window and they smell any weed, mm -hmm. they're going to tell you, sir, turn over your keys and get out the car. That's just like if they uh, uh, come to your car and you smell like liquor. Yeah. Okay, so there's certain stipulations on that. Now, even with me having a medical car, you can't smoke weed in your car. You have to pull over and go somewhere. Right. You see what I'm saying? You can't smell like that. Now, if you want to ever get caught up and you want to get away, if the cops stop, you tell them you smoked weed three to four hours ago. If you if they ask you, are you high or when last had you smoked a joint? If you say you just smoked it or an hour ago, they know you're still under the influence and they go put the handcuffs just, on your ass. It's still like see, a knowledge is power. Seen that happen. Right, but it's still well, like I have. It's still I still like I got a boy that just spent four days in the county for it happened. From weed. Yeah, for we. Oh, that's bullshit. Yeah, well, it's I'm a just, bullshit system. Yeah, when, I, what I'm saying is, is it's bullshit, but when it's in law, that bullshit would affect you. Now, you could ignore it until the well, police bump your ass up. Now, what's what the I'm, difference between recreational and... Met, and, and well, alcohol, alcohol is... What's the difference? This, this is what I'm well, trying to explain to you. Alcohol is considered you. recreational. No, I'm talking they, about they, what's the difference they, in recreational they, weed because and weed when, we get when, at, when it become shop. When it becomes... Uh, recreational, that means anybody can get it. it. Right. Okay, not only that, that means they put stipulations on your use of it in society. Right. Okay, let me make a point. Alcohol is legal. Okay? Until you but, abuse it. Thank you. And now when you drive it under the influence of alcohol, that, now you can probably have a high tolerance and still dry. When you blow in that breathalyzer, which they lower. Yeah. The standard of which the amount of alcohol you have to have in your system. Right. But I ain't never seen nobody wreck no vehicle smoking a blunt. I understand that, but that okay. But the whole thing is they're trying to make money. They making it recreational and legal because now they can tax it and make money. Now they can make more money. Wow. They can make more money off of it recreational when they jam up any nigga driving and past them and they smell weed. Okay, so now they can impound your car for a DUI for for uh, ready people. Your if bail, you, if, gonna be, your bail yeah, is going to be astronomical. If you catch a DUI, the first DUI, that's $10,000 down the drain. Right. Okay. Your second DUI is $15,000 down the drain. And the loss okay. of your license. And, and jail time. Now, your third DUI, you're going to the penitentiary. So what I'm saying is they have systematically found a way to let you do what you want to do so they can scoop you all up like fish because you are unaware of the stipulations that come with that. Now, smoking weed is cool, but there's laws and stipulations that if you get caught out of bounds here or whatever, that's how they can get you. So what I'm telling you is 
you have to educate yourself on the law in a political arrangement because arrangement almost fucked up the word. Yeah, I was going. That's you know, one. That's one. But so no. you so going back to it, so you voted against it. Yeah, I did, and I smoked weed. Okay, well, my I voted for it. So I mean, because it's like to the point now where it's like. You might as well just make it legal now. Right. I mean, they've been yeah. smoking just it like it was well. anyway. I mean, because it's it's an ongoing battle and it's an ongoing fight, you know, that eventually is going to come to us like, you know what? Yeah, well, they're making it legal because people getting in anyway and they make right. money anyway. off of it. And the government's finally yeah. come to the realization but what I'm that saying we is, can make money because off of it. we can't arrest your black ass for buying it or selling it, there are stipulations in right. certain situations that. Right. that we can catch you. Now, just because we passed this law... Many of our silly asses is going to think, oh, I'm cool. Then we're going to have it freely in our pocket and all of that. Exactly. And don't know that just like a gun, you can, if you're not a criminal or no uh, violent motherfucker, you can get a gun. Right. But if you have your gun and it's bullets and it's sitting on the seat, you can still get a ticket and catch a case. Right. So what I'm telling you is when they make things lawful, you have to know the, the prescribed uh, stipulations on that so you can know how to use it, how not to abuse it, what to get caught with and what not to get caught with. And, and hold that thought. Um, it's good to be back, man, um, getting into these heated debate with these brothers and all that. And um, we, would want, we would love for you all to chime in with us. Um, we have um, Morris Media Studio Live. It's the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. Marv will be here shortly. Um, we getting ready to take a quick break for the um, for the calls. Um, join in our conversation with us, 323-293-3375, and uh, we'll be right back. And get out there and vote while it's still time. Yeah, while the poll's still open. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, we had an interesting debate, like, off air, but... Um, we got the news on, and it's like Trump is leading in electoral mm-hmm. votes, man, 149 to 109. He's not actually 121 electoral votes away from, um, from becoming president. I mean, he's he's winning these states. He just won Arkansas. Um, he's leading in Arizona now. Uh, now I think all the West Coast um, polling places are not closed now. So if you are in line... At the polling place, just because it closed, there's that one person that's in the line. That in the line, you have to vote. So please sure, remain right. in line. Don't give up and walk away. Uh, CNN just project uh, projected that uh, Donald Trump won Ohio. Eighteen electoral votes. Yes, uh, he's winning Michigan. Uh, so tomorrow you may be waking up to um, President Trump. I just it's going to be interesting because I want to see if a lot of these celebrities like hold true to what they said. Yeah. And if he becomes president, these motherfuckers is going to Canada. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I mean, I want I want to see cuz Brian Cranston who was just who played in um, um Breaking Bad, who won all those Emmys, he was the meth dealer. Yeah. He just announced that if Trump wins, he was moving to Canada. So he Sam, might need to pack his shit. Yeah, so Sam Jackson, he was one that said that he was going to move to Canada. Um, Al Sharpton said he was going. Well, Miley Cyrus said she was going. That might be a good thing because we get rid of all these old phony ass people anyway. You know, that might be a real good thing. Man, I had a weird ass experience today, man. Well, did you, you know actually two, vote it? Yeah, no. Okay. I always vote since <laughs> I was 18. What's your weird experience? Man, I had two flies fuck with me all day at work today. That was Trump and uh, Clinton. Two fucking flies got on my goddamn nerves today, people. <laughs> Do you have you ever? You know, I feel, when a fly land on me, I feel filthy like a piece of shit. So I don't like flies landing on me, man. Have you ever felt that? And no. then it's like, you know, flies can't have a big ass brain, but it's like they purposely know what the fuck they it doing. Was you wave them off here, the motherfucker come around here. You wave over here, the motherfucker on your shoulder, and you just keep waving them, and like, like, you, you, it makes you start sniffing yourself and and, and start well, questioning, some, did you wash your ass today? Because yeah, why attracted, are these goddamn flies on me? But they attracted to shit, so maybe you didn't wash your ass or something. Homie, no, so, you know, flies is attracted to me, Jeff, because I am the shit. <laughs> See how he got baited in that? Oh, I go. am the shit. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> That's why he was fucking with you all. Day. Yeah. <laughs> so there was another measure on the uh, on the bill today. I'm dealing with the porn industry, Prop 60. 
um, want the the, um, the performers to wear condoms. Yeah. So, th- what did you vote on that? I think they should, cause uh, you know I know. Uh, so you voted yes on Prop sixty. Yeah, man, I think they should, you vote man. On that? You know, no, I didn't. A, a, a lot of these cats is more freakier than what you see them on camera, and some of them is freakier with each other. So now you want to spread AIDS and all this other shit through the population. You know, because sometimes regular guys might want to uh, hit a porn star. Right. So now, so you, you know, wasn't you? So you're not good with the mandatory thirty um, day testing that they I, imposed. I think, yeah. That they imposed a I few think years they ago should do that. because it went through when um because the reason they imposed that was the scare of like you said with the AIDS because one of the biggest porn stars in the industry at the time, Mr. Marcus. Someone um, libeled him and defamed him, a woman that got bitter. And it come to find out that, that he affected AIDS. 60 something women. But it was, it was false, 60. though. But it was false, though, because he didn't have AIDS and he didn't have the HIV virus. It was, it was a false claim. Yeah, it was 60. a false claim. Yeah, but if but it, it, it would it, have. But America. Yeah, but it scared the porn industry, and that's when they came up with the mandatory 30 day testing. Now, outside of you porn stars, most of you cats that don't know who you're dealing with, man, I mean, you know, you might be slipping with five or six women. You got to really protect yourself. Now, this is another thing. I just had an AIDS test uh, a couple of days ago. Now, this is the funny thing about it. I did it as a survey because I was broke. I needed the money. No. Of course. (laughs) Of course not. My shit is negative. So now I'm a little bit more selective. I don't want your raggedy ass on me. Where's your test papers at? See, I can tell you that. I I keep mine in my back pocket. Where's your test papers at, young lady? I mean, because I did it for insurance purposes, uh, purposes, and then um, I had to have all my tests. And they they give you the thorough test. Everything. The STDs and everything everything came back negative. So that does, because, you know, at 54, you're like, okay, I ain't caught shit, you know, back then. You know, when I was young, I caught, you know, the common one. Yeah. When Clap, I was 19. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 you know, you get yeah, the shots. We all been there, yeah. That's you what you did. Chlamydia, <laughs> chlamydia, the crabs, yeah, you yeah, know. Good in three days. But now you clean up into the, you know, 54. It's like, you know, I'm not, I don't plan on catching nothing. No. You know, well, I don't want nothing. So that's why, you know, you know, it's, you know, monogamy is the way to go, you know. Oh, I mean, you limit your partner. First of I'm all, I'm not gonna say all of, of that. All, put first of all, when you get up, people. when you get up in 54 and 55, you exactly. limit. You limit. You, you limit your sex life. It you ain't should. got to be that bold and all that big. No, you know? well, see. And besides, it, it, you didn't seen. And, and, and you've been how many years? Yeah, you I'm glad that. you mentioned that. You my, my philosophy is this: when you're young, you tend to fuck destructively. Right. Exactly. Once you get of, of age and you become wise, you fuck constructively. Inte- in- intellectually. And in this, in discreetly, yeah. too. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, all pussy is good pussy. Let's really get to it. You know, you got big old good ones and good old big ones. But the bottom line is it's all good. Like the rapper, uh, West Coast rapper KD say, you got to know how to work it and let it work for you. But the bottom line is this. You got to be careful. And the thing is... Uh-oh. Why get drawn into a woman because she got some good pussy, but she gets on your nerves? This, a lot of us get sucker punched in life like that. This, so you got to be discreetly selective about who you lay down with, fellas. And we got my man, 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 Marv right here. So man did you Marv just get off? In the house. Did you just get off of some um, bad pussy? No, nigga, I just came from voting. Thank you. Okay. And he did and his I, job, people. Am I, am I on? Am I on? Is this thing on? You on? This Marv, what's going on? What's happening? What's Good up, to man? See you, baby. What, what wind blew your ass oh, in? Man, this one? Yeah. <laughs> he had a cold story himself, to tell bro. me, too. Oh, man. Yeah, we we'll so, let him get to his stone story. So did you, guys, did you guys vote? Or what, what was y'all oh, talking yeah, about? Oh, yeah, man. I went for Clinton. You went for Clinton? I had to, man. Why? That's right. I'm I'm over. The, I'm I'm like a simple-minded kind of a dude. But that's a simple-minded ass vote, ain't it? Well, look no. who you finna. No, put that's up a simple-minded there. ass answer. Yeah, look who, who you finna put up in who, there. Whoever whoever hey, you vote for is your vote. But the bottom line is, regardless on who you like or not, the American people in election time speak for themselves. Okay, so regardless on who you like, who's in office or not, it'll be. You're president, and you must respect the highest office. Now, did y'all, did y'all, did y'all vote for some tacos and titties today? Well, I got some tequila. I, I had neck yeah. bones. I we didn't have no shots. tacos today. I wish I shots. did. We had three shots. And yeah, did you really did you have your you know your, your your titty tacos? No, I got some uh some burritos on. Look, this is what I did. I got me some short ribs, and I put them in the slow cooker. And I said, I'm so soon as the show is over, I'm about to go in there and hook them bastards up. And he had oxtails. Now, you yeah. got the short ribs. That's right. They make oxtail tacos now. 
Is that right? It's a spot on Pico or Venice, I think. Where at? Uh, Tiffany friend. told me you could look it up. What's a Jamaican Jamaican spot? Y'all no, it's not a Venice Jamaican and... spot, but it's a, a spot either off of Venice or Pico. Do y'all eat healthy? Pico. And what? what yeah, you, and that Venice and Pico run the same way. Wait a minute. Did I know you that just it's either you? off of one or the oh, other okay. is what I'm saying. Farouk, did you it's hear what he just West asked West L.A. But the hell with Jeff, man. You know, he trying he to live. He asked me, did I eat healthy? Yeah, he trying to live here forever. <laughs> You know, he want to be like Yoda, you know, some damn, uh, uh, what you call that, a sensei. What, what kind of shit you be eating, Jeff? I, right Carrots. now, yeah, I'm into Raw plant. Raw cabbage No, I'm, 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 I'm like, my diet is going to, like, the plant-based foods. Like, what's that? What, salads? Like, yeah. yeah, salads, like greens, uh, anything come from the ground, man. Not No, no, no meat. Well, every now and then. Some mm-hmm. chicken, some protein. Right, there you, you know, go. every now and then. Yeah. You know, and, and but I'll, 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 I'll see you I'll fucking up that, that, that sandwich from Subway. No, you ain't saying you that fucking up. No, no yeah, bread, yeah. no bread, no yeah. bread, no yeah. bread. Well, he took one no piece bread, off. No bread, Look. no bread. Okay, Strictly no bread. no bread, no bread. He was eating Frito. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I see you eat some you Frito. That wasn't me. This nigga Jeff is lying to me. I meant to bring this up. Come on. We happen to be filming a pilot. You know, we uh, Marv trying to promote to a show. I seen that Jeff day, with a bag day, of fucking Fritos. I didn't, I didn't have some Fritos. Oh! I that, but I didn't have no Subway sandwich. That's carbs, though. though. But I didn't have no now, Subway now, sandwich. That but was I a baseline. I just know, got you to admit. Just, uh, that's why, Does he call that wait. cheating? You call that cheating if you have a bag of Fritos? Yeah. yeah. That's cheating. I mean... You're you going to slip every now and then. I, I, hey. In that case, I slip I'm not every eating, fucking day. But I'm not eating no short I, ribs and no motherfucking the, oxtail. Right, the, the, the reason why, why I said, well, I, I only eat that probably once a month or something. I don't eat that every day. Yeah, you eat that I, every motherfucking day. No, I don't. Day. No, I don't. I stay. Marv know what I eat and cook. I'm yeah, a pretty much eat, a healthy This nigga be cat. eating Brussels sprouts and yeah. shit. Uh, yeah, liver, and liver and onions the other day. It's good for you. But I'll never eat it. The reason why I said that is because I never really do see this cat eat any junk food. So when I seen him with that bag of Cheetos, I thought I'd hold that against him. But he's real. Sh- he really uh, real, real strict and disciplined with his diet. Now, look at, now, now, look at not, the electoral uh, map right now. They have Trump for those out there in our audience. One sixty-seven. Y'all can Hillary, see that. Yeah, yeah. one hundred nine. So he's actually now one hundred and three electoral votes. From becoming the 45th president of the United who's, States. Who's in the lead right now? Because I can't see shit. Uh, uh, Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. He's in the lead by how much? He's uh, up by a lot. Yeah. He has 167. Hillary has 109. Now, Robert, where was your polling place? Oh, shit. Sure. Right there by the office over here on Venice and Hauser, man. Was, was it crowded? Because when I went, it I wasn't went crowded. In after, I went in after the office. In fact, the office let us go early today at 430. So it wasn't crowded? It. No, not at all. I walked right on in, did my little polling thing, and... um. We yeah. Got out of there, and, and um, um, it was about maybe about five people ahead of me. Did you vote for the weed? Yes, sir, I did. Yeah, we talked about that <laughs> earlier. That's I did. Now, did you vote I for need it? Marijuana. I of need course, marijuana. I did. Hey, man, can I say something? Well, we keep smoke always, alive. I always gotta ask. Hey, man, I want to say hi to Barbara Holman out there in Houston. She's looking at the show, man. Uh, Barbara hey, man. Holman. Barbara Holman out there in Houston, what man. What did she do? Uh, she? Fall in love with me, man. What? Wow. Fall in love with me. Would you believe it? You fuck been... with that mail order bride shit? Oh, again? man, do you oh, with that you bullshit? <laughs> I just, I just wanted to say that. Bride. I just wanted to say to Barbara and Tammy, hey, man, a shout out. It's great to hear from you, and I'll see you soon. Wait, where'd you meet her at? Did you, doing? did you meet her on Tinder? Uh, uh, her a coworker. Uh, is it happens to be her mail niece. order bride? See that that shit. See yeah. that shit. Yo, you well, got right that now, man, my age, man, and everywhere, man. Yeah, I, you find I ain't gonna lie. I I, I be on a uh, uh, what's it? Farmersonly.com. That's yeah. why. Oh man, shit, you can't ride no goddamn horse. I, I can ride. I can ride a horse. I don't believe you. It depends. It depends. No, I don't believe you. If, if it's a stallion. Oh. Go. <laughs> gotta be a stallion. See, that's another thing that I find pretty peculiar. Why do men describe women as stallions when a stallion is a male damn horse? It is. A that's, female you know horse is, is called a question. filly. Yeah. Not a stallion. But they didn't know that though. That's because they you know, they on the DL. Some they, <laughs> they on the DL. So when you say you riding a stallion, they what really you saying they is riding a man. You, yeah, you, you riding a big, a big old horse dick. <laughs> you got a big set of nuts hanging off your head. A stallion your got a big old horse dick, okay? <laughs> yeah. Now I can see if you big say that she is a filly. That is a female whore. It don't, it don't, so, it don't sound right. So, but that's stop, why I say, man, so that's a stallion, stallion back, because she's a stallion. stallion. You, they look I'm going to go thigh. back to saying she, she's thicker than a stallion. Stop saying women are stallions. Yeah. Thicker than a snicker. How uh, about that? A peanut butter milkshake. There you go. <laughs> how, 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 how thick can you get than a peanut butter milkshake? That's a thick. You got you to use thick. a big ass straw with that. Yeah. The almonds all up in it. <laughs> what? A, a <laughs> peanut butter shake with almonds in it? Oh, yeah. Jeff, he got to put some healthy, healthy in it. Yeah. 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 Come on, man. You know that. I ain't mad at him, man. So now you guys say, 
we 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 looking at this shit and it looked like Trump is uh, in the, in the lead. What what He's up by 58 electoral What do you think right it's going to be like if if Trump win this thing? I think it's going to be my honest opinion, it's going to be fucked up cuz he's going to try to repeal everything Obama did. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's going to try to he's going to fuck with Obama's legacy. Oh yeah. So and I mean what, what is what is Obama's legacy? I mean he, I mean he, what is he going to be what is he going down in history for? Giving gays right to vote and giving niggas health care. Uh, no. Well, yeah. No, giving niggas cell phone. He, the health care is some fascist socialism shit. Right now a lot of people getting bills with shit they can't even afford ex- with this health care ex- shit that he passed. Going, a lot of motherfuckers is going to the hospital though. Yeah, but, I know that, but what know, I'm so, saying is why have health care and you can't afford you know, the medicine. First of all, niggas don't pay bills anyway. Anyhow, no, this is no matter saying. whether the bill come today or tomorrow, they ain't going to pay them. The, the thing my with Obama is... They shit go in the collection. Black, hey, half of hey, black people but, should hey, go man, in the collection anyway. Let me tell you so. what he did do if he didn't do nothing else. He went and got Ben Laden's ass, man, and hung out from him about eight fucking years before they found him. Ben Laden been dead five years before that. That was... Uh, well, that I don't, was, I'm just talking about the one they claim they went and got. Yeah, but okay? that wasn't him. Okay, well, I don't know. I wasn't there. I'm just saying that that's what they said. This motherfucker is dead. That's what the media told you. he didn't do nothing else, man... He, clean, he he did that, all right? Because there's a lot of Okay, innocent. people in the hey, world. Man, what he did Let for me. Let me give you some advice. Hold up. What he did for me, it was just a check on my bucket list. Yeah. You know, yeah. first African-American two-term president. Oh, not okay, yeah. Chicago Cubs, that. World Series. The now, Chicago Cubs didn't have hold shit up. to do with Obama. But hold up, though. You know, hopefully tomorrow... I, get I don't to like see, baseball. Oh, oh, so I get oh, to see oh, Obama first, was the senator of Chicago, yeah, right? And, and tomorrow, hopefully, I get to live. He was the senator of Chicago, uh, first right? First female um, president of the United States. That's what I'm so hoping for. So it just for. checks on my bucket list. That's but all. Obama was the senator, okay. and Chicago, where he's from, has the highest homicide mortality rate. of homicide right. when it comes to blacks, right. and he still has not did anything, anything. to anything. resolve that or even mention it. So, so how can you fuck that up? So his legacy don't have anything to do with us, okay? Like, I watched the speech of Farrakhan and was talking about how, how are you worried about your legacy with us? Your legacy is with yeah, gay well, I, people. Your legacy yeah, is not with us when up, there's yeah. many and thousands of brothers dying unnecessarily in the he streets. Thinks. Okay, if you didn't put no stop to that, then to me, look, as soon as this election over, uh, I think he should lead a damn country. But he but, can't, he can't but, go to the Philippines. But what, how you going to stop oh, some no, shit that, that we ain't got no control of when another motherfucker oh, no, running no, around no, with Robert, a gun? Robert, that motherfucker hate him over I, there. I, the I heard he's banned from the Philippines. Yes. Uh, who's Duarte? that? Oh, yeah, that motherfucker, uh, he, he hate the United States. Uh, yeah, I heard uh, Barack Obama can't step his ass in uh, Philippines. With that, yeah, what, what happened with that little situation with the president out there, I did hear something about Duarte, that. Duarte, yeah, he, he can't stand the president. He, right. he, he He don't like the United States. So he where he going to go? He said they meddling too many business. That motherfucker, he cursed out the Pope. Yeah, he did. The Philippine president. Yeah, he cussed out I the like Pope. him. I like him. He's yeah, too. He good. What did he say? You know, he called him a son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out. <laughs> right in front of him. He said, you're a son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. You can't. What, what, he wanted him to kiss him or something? He knows a hypocrisy <laughs> these people in these powerful <laughs> positions is trying to pull tell, off. Man, because Pope he got made, nuns, but, man, but, and but, they but, don't play that shit. They'll, just, they'll do something to you, man, about the Pope. But man. the Filipino president, he ran on the platform that he would change the country around. He mm-hmm. said, if elected, that he will murder and he will heads. kill Crack all heads. drug addicts and drug dealers. Mm-hmm. And he, well, at least and he's and trying he, to find any yeah, type of mess with getting And he stayed true problem. to that. He did? Yeah, he stayed true to How that. How many crackheads did he murder up to date? Man, you know, he's got about like... They got money for cracking in Manila? Oh, yes. It's all over the world, man. Yes. Uh, but, but, but I'm saying the, the dollar sign in... in, 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 in um, Whatever Manila, they got over there, they it, spending it, on... It, uh, not crack. a whole hell of a lot, homeboy. It's that's what... And, that's it's not what, a whole hell of a that's lot. That's why they don't get a whole hell of a lot of crack. Well, what I'm saying is... It, Just it, enough to get their ass hot. Fucked up. And it stepped on 52 times to... Five times blow up. Come got on, there. you remember blow up? Yeah, well, like I'm saying, I'm just saying that the dollar sign up. in Manila, the dollar, the the, the, the the dollar sign in Manila is. All right, y'all. We just got another update. Uh, Hillary trying to get back in, and she's creeping in at uh, 122 it's, it's not over, man. Um, electoral votes right now. So, you know. Okay, so I was I was at the barber shop just a little minute ago. So, and I, and our TV was out. I think some girl was watching some, and she didn't give a love and hip hop. Yeah, I think it's Stevie yeah. J's ass. Oh was shit, on there. Yeah. Stevie J. Did uh, who won? Who won Florida? Who took Florida? Florida, Trump. They, they tied Trump right now. They haven't called Florida. It's yet. still too, it's still too, tied. Okay, it's still it hasn't tied. been called. No, Trump wins called. Ohio. Yep. Just saying, Trump wins Ohio. Uh, that's Cleveland. That's See, LeBron, we, LeBron now we, we're not looking at actual time, y'all. We, See, right we, there. We're not looking Trump at actual time. Trump is up right now. They haven't called Florida yet, so that's where we at with Florida. Forty. Check this out. 
Now, who you think gonna win California? I think Clinton should. You with, think with hands so? Down. Now, did you see a lot of uh, Clinton T-shirt wearing people at oh, the yeah. polls? Um, we went to a. Um, uh, they head into the. Um, the uh, dope house. No, motherfucker. Trap house. <laughs> that was that bullshit? Every time I go on the show, man. That's what it's no. about, man. Get it <laughs> That's together. Square, man. That's why I forget what I, mean, I hate forgetting I mean, shit no, around no. this dude, man. No, Robert, look, look, look. The thing is, up. it's my fault because you you look like somebody I used to know. Yeah, you. what that motherfucker that used to he, say, why do fools fall in love? No, it's the dude. Line, man. A dude on my block. <laughs> A dude on my block, you smoke crack, look just like you. I, I, I was asked, him. I asked Rook, I said, is that, is that, is that Rob from the block? See, yeah. here we go. See, man, look. That changes you. You my know man, that? Rob, all right, See, man. Y'all finna start roasting me you up never, in the So you oh, never, you never I... hit crack before? Oh, of course. I, uh, you know, uh, I ran, see, no, dude, you gotta remember, I ran 92? lines. I was, I was a line dude, man. Yeah, I'm running two or three, And you started lines. eating that shit up, huh? Oh, man, I was... You used to whip it up like Chef for ID. I, it, it, look, man, this ain't gonna be no roasting party for Robert Jr. Man. No, this we ain't roasting. No, because you, yo, you, your last show we it's did. It's addicts out there that I need to know the fuck. truth. The last time we did the show, man, you, be, with you the said crack. I look like Frankie Lyman. And that was, <laughs> for a moment, he was talking about that tight ass jacket you had on oh, that yeah. suit coat and shit, oh, yeah. man. You loosened yeah. up today, oh, little bro, bitty. Yeah, man, I'm just getting off work, man. Hey, but he still got a shrunken up hoodie. He look like an old ass Trayvon Martin today. <laughs> That's a Trayvon Martin. <laughs> well, look if he aged. Yeah. If Trayvon Martin was, was 59 years so, old, he looked like you. Hey, man, that's how I After fucking being look. Shot, huh? no. I, every time I come on this show, man, I get roasted, man. But look, man, you, I want to. You used to have hair, too, huh? No, or, or, hey, never had no damn. Or, or just ain't finished download yet. <laughs> he, he used to have, he used to have a mustache till he fucked it up and had, he had to get rid of. Man, we gonna wait till your shit starts buffering. I'm gonna we'll wait till your shit finish buffering. So you come in here with some motherfucking hands. Maybe that's why they always bring me on the show so they can uh, roast my ass. Hell, but it's you, all good. You're comic relief. Yeah, it's it's, it's oh, it's been with this shit for months. But that's all right. Now I'm gonna get him back. Say that you're here. Now, Rob, yeah, Rob, yeah, man. What I want to ask you, man, like, now hold on, we gotta focus on that. That nigga here. Download. <laughs> it's still, it's still. It's, it's, it ain't there all the way. Uh. You need a, high, uh, a faster processor. <laughs> I, I love coming on this show, man. Tell us in recent days, that man. That damn Obama you know what phone. Saying? That's what it is. Uh, <laughs> what you plan on doing, man, to get you know really with the comedy scene, man? That's what I update me on the comedy, man. Well, hey, hey, for before we went on air, man, I was telling you about you know right across the street. What I had planned on and doing is 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 getting a a, a group of comedians. And and just get in a spotlight for them and start producing some. When people. you gonna start? It's when his shitty. hair grow. <laughs> <laughs> when, <that's, laughs> when the hey, buffering man. stop. <laughs> hey, man. It's a cold <laughs> world, y'all. Hey, hey, Every, everything in your life <laughs> ain't finished down. Like the light into Jeff's ass. They love, they love picking on my boy uh, Rob, man. That's they that's know because they know he can take be, it, man. Right? They know that's only because I'm from California, and Los Angeles. They know I, I do. Pedo, Jeff from from where are you from, Jeff? Chi Town, Chicago. You see that big ass Bring his ass on back there. I know they waiting for him. Keep from Chi Rock. Shy industry, it, baby. It, no, no, man, but I want to see a forefront of, of comedians get together like we did at the Barbara Morrison. Man, that meant so much to me to see well, you us. Know, we didn't have like 1,100 shows since then. We ain't seen well, you on stage. Hey, man, I've been in the transition. <laughs> the my last life, time he was here, he had a big showcase at the comedy store. How'd that go? Yeah, uh, I did the show. That was yeah. August the 22nd. That went great. Yeah, but, yeah. No, man, I'm in the okay, trans I'm in the total to transition in yeah, my tell life. Tell us man. about the transition, man. I'm in the total I know you transition. You shared it with me. Man. I want you to share your story, man. And so I got I got it. Like I said, by chance I got the opportunity to meet a great woman you know in 1500 miles away but it's all great with the way I was gonna ask you how was the pussy but I ain't <laughs> you got a long distance relationship yeah, yeah, I mean your I dick care. ain't that long to go it through not phone be, or, or telegram it, out of state no it's been a it's been a, it's been a close comma a, a close y'all been sexting each other no not sexting man. not yet <laughs> it's too early for that <laughs> not <laughs> yet it's too early for that hey man yet? are these two dudes gonna be at the J spot I know is this dude gonna <laughs> Man, you make sure Jeff's ass is there. You understand me? You don't fuck with me on stage. Mar, tell him about Saturday on. night, man. Mar blew this shit. No, no, hold up, hold up. Mar got down okay, no, Saturday no, no, night. No, no, no. First of all, where the fuck is said at? Oh, yeah. This Definitely. sports corner sports shit. Corner. Yeah, no, Say, fuck that, fuck that sports corner You fell off today, shit. man. We've been waiting fuck for the sports, sports corner, corner shit, shit, man. Fuck that sports corner shit, man. Fuck that. Shit ain't going down today. <laughs> that motherfucker <laughs> dissed me. Motherfucker Ooh. said they lost though. No, Chicago, no, no, no not that. Well. At his birth for his birthday function. Oh, what did he do for your what, birthday? What happened? When I come in, that motherfucker, I'm like, yo, what's up, man? It's like happy birthday, bro. It's like, yo, it's like, so, cause at first I asked him, could I do what you was doing? 
And the motherfucker was like, yeah, you can do that. I ain't got no problem with that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And I kind of find out your ass up there doing the shit. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, so can I get down? Did I he do like, a good job? Yeah. yeah. Then I'm like, can I get down? He like, well, man, you know, uh, I got all the comics and all that. Man. Oh, and he I went Hollywood that. on your yeah, ass? Yeah, I was like, nigga, are you serious? All the motherfucking love I done showed your yeah. ass while I was hosting? And all that motherfuckers told me don't bring you on, but I'm in full control when I do a show. Right. I bring well who the fuck That's I right. want to be right. on. Right. You right. know, so he like, oh, no, nah, man, you know, it ain't like that, man. But I'm going to see <laughs> if I can get you on, no, what? man. Who's he going to see with? It was yeah, a show. exactly. Then he come back and say, well, man, you know, I, 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 I'm going to put you up, man, but you got to like, just like do a hot two or three minutes. Two or three minutes. Jeff, I that thought you shit. was going to be there. In fact, I was expecting you to be there. What's that, a half a joke? Man, that ain't even an intro, motherfucker. No, not at all. Hi, I'm yeah. Jeff Arnold. Good, Good night, night, baby. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So then I was like, and then he going to, I see him last night. Mm-hmm. And then the motherfucker, he's with a new comic that he's got, you know. He was un- at the improv? No, he was at, uh, it was the other night. It was Sunday night. Oh, okay. Um, at the J-Spot. Up, yeah, the J-Spot. Mm-hmm. He, got, he, not, he got some new comic up under his wing. So that was hilarious, that, motherfucker. Is that right? He was funny. I ain't see the dude. Dude's supposed to be from Chicago. Uh, so, mm-hmm. you know, said come and introduce me. Like, oh, yeah, man, it's Jeff Arnold. He's one of the big homies, uh, or one of the OGs in the game. That I don't no, let on yeah, stage. That I don't let on stage, <laughs> motherfucker, for my birthday party to say hi to and happy birthday. Did you bring him said, a birthday present? Man, yeah, okay. How long Thank you. Sales That's one stuff? thing. I mean, and he was probably Jeff. mad because he How lost some money stage, on the Jeff? Cubs or something. No, but then the thing about it, though, what was fucked up, though, is because he put three bums up there. <laughs> That wasn't I, funny. I did see some bums in that movie. That wasn't funny. <laughs> if you're going to have a birthday party, put some motherfuckers up there it's that's going to bring some heat. Right. You know? Or at least that you know. Exactly. <laughs> you know? And I Bones saw your- I was funny, said you cool with me. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm Farouk, saying? Farouk was funny, though. He was funny. He was, he was getting down. He, it was he a good show, good. man. I, yeah. I, I saw you a whole- You came, Robert. Where was you, you know, at? You said my brother-in-law, man. Y'all didn't really know that, huh? Man. That's my brother-in-law. Yeah. Okay. That's that nepotism shit. Exactly. Hey, it works for me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what though? I'm an old vet in the game, so it ain't no love lost. I ain't got no hate for the brother. Right. Yeah. I'm still gonna show so him you, love. Are you though. coming down uh, this yeah. Friday at the J Spot? Yeah, I'll be there. Okay, because we so haven't we have another show, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you guys uh, announced it yet, but we have another show at the On J Spot. On the 11th, this Friday. On the 11th, this Friday. Be there, be square. Oh, or be yeah. square. Free. Can I get out on your show? Uh, I got I got to see. Oh, please let Jeff <laughs> up in I'm, there, I'm man. A, uh, I'm going to discuss it with Sayed and uh, see if we you can see. see. This shit, Jeff. But you know what's going to happen, though. What's Eventually, going you know what's going to happen. What's going to happen? When I first started doing comedy, you remember? Okay, well, tell when me. When I was going on the Tupac on them motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Knock oh, the motherfuckers out. Back. We ought to bring that shit back. Jeff, all right, right with me, man. I kind of snuck next. in on the showcase <laughs> that Jeff was hosting. He pulled some strings to get me on stage. He didn't even know me and no shit like that. Mar talked to him. He let me get on stage and I did my thing. That's how I ran into to Memphis Will and was working with him for a while. Did you know mm-hmm. that nigga Memphis Will's beard was made with magic markers? <laughs> no, that's Beijing. <laughs> that shit. Look Shout like out to you, Memphis. Mm-hmm. Memphis. Much dark, love to you, bro. He got the darkest, darkest marker made, made, uh, in the world. I've never seen a beard with that much marker on it. He need to change it from 52 to 48. Yeah, he need to uh, break his color. Jeff, look at them electrical volts, man. Okay, what, uh, it looks like she's making a mad on? dash, man. Oh, yeah, I mean, she's starting to pick up yeah. because now the western states, yeah. you know, the polls um, are closed now, and they're yeah. starting to tally up now. Now, so what time yeah. did you go she's vote? She's down by 36 go, early this morning. For, did, did you go in the morning? Yeah, yeah I, I went in the morning. morning. I went, went in the morning, too? Yeah, you went in the, uh, 4.30. Right after yeah. I got off work, I went off early. when you got off? I went when I got off work, and then I went down there because I had to go all the way to Gardena. That's where my polling place was. Okay. And I had to get me some burritos from Ramona's. Okay. Yeah. You did the right thing. Off of Western? No, the one off of Crenshaw in... Uh, By El, El Camino. Yes, okay. I had to get one. They got a, a a delicious burrito down there, and I had to get that. Because I was just too damn close. Ain't that your son there? No, that's not my son. That's that's a, uh, that's, <laughs> that's the homeboy from Chi-Town, uh, man. Mechanically you, inclined. Now, you out here, did you vote? It. Did you vote today? Okay. <laughs> how, you gonna be, yeah, how you gonna be his motherfucking daddy? Yeah. How you gonna be my daddy? You older than this nigga talking right. about as he his son. Right, right. Uh, no. You look young though, man. No, you look young, yeah. 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 That's no. Mike Epps' uh, stunt double. I wasn't nobody there. There you go, player. There you go. There you go. Now, look, the thing about Chicago is, see, he's from Chicago as well. Chicago. Southside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. And he was telling me. 
Burnside, there you go. 92nd in Cottage There you go. Telling me the manor, that, yeah. Look, Jeff, there you he, was, go. he was telling See? me that they really, y'all really be killing people out there like, no, it, like it's Murder's for lunch. In Chicago is Burnside. Yeah. That's why I'm pumped. They don't understand that shit is real, man. Yeah, I know it's real. I'm trying to yeah, explain, but niggas. When them niggas get hungry, man, them niggas, they going out to eat, yo. Right. I hear you. I mean, my, my shit, family yo. out there, man, is a big family, man. You probably know some of my family members. They got yeah. a big name out there, Shields. I probably do. Yeah. You know anybody with that last Shils. name? I know a couple of people named Shields. Yeah, yeah that's my family. Dang, you don't, don't nobody fuck with them either. Well, shit, they, they the only ones know? out there holding Shields. You can't shoot <laughs> well, with Shields. When I go out there, that becomes my last name. <laughs> I bet it does. Because if you ain't connected, you might, uh, you know, get a hole put in your ass, man. If you ain't connected, man, you got to uh, really know somebody in the side town, man. So what, what do you guys got coming up as far as comedy? Because we want to see the growth and progression of this comedy lounge and see what's going on. So I, cause I know you're going to be at the J spot on Friday. You got anything oh, else coming definitely. up? Oh, most definitely. I'm trying to twist the big homie Spike arm, man, to, uh, you know, it, it you extend. Gonna do the Monday? You going to do the Monday? Yeah, try to get on the improv on Monday, man. Twist the homie Spike arm, you know, me and Mark. How's that going? How's that going so far? Uh, well, he, he got him a jacket. Yeah. Well, he That's said dope. the Chargers are going to win the Super Bowl. He ain't give a year. I said, year. I said year. one day. He ain't give a year. Green yeah. Bay ain't. He ain't uh, give a year, though. No comment. Yeah, no thank comment you. on that one. <laughs> I could make a bold prediction. Who, the Raiders? No, the Bears. Get the fuck out of here. No, Bears going to make a motherfucking yeah. comeback. Cereal they bowl. Gonna turn, they going to they gonna turn that shit around. If yeah, you, the, ba- the Bears are being a cereal all, bowl, yo, not the Super Bowl. It's all about Chicago right now, homie. I ain't mad at you, it's man. It's all about Chicago. I am not mad Don't at get you. get so hyped just because the baseball sector did good. Nigga, it's all about Chicago. They did that, though, because they came behind. That was... To me, that was real last amazing, man. The, the last time we won the um, Super Bowl was 32 years ago. So now it's our time again. And you know what? And that was good. That was actually a, it was a hell of a series too. I mean, it was what a hun- about 108 years. Yeah, 108 like years. Man. It's been that long, huh? And they came back from a, a deficit of three one too, right? But see, we came back from the Dodgers too. Yeah, y'all, I know. y'all, y'all forget about that though. When y'all no. threw y'all. Ace no, I tried, to, I tried to forget about it until you mentioned this up shit. There and I'm talking about, y'all ain't oh, Kershaw going to do his thing. Man, we rocked that motherfucker. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a baseball dude. I don't give a fuck one way or You, you stop basing? What'd you say? You stop basing? <laughs> hey, man, keep clowning me, man. Keep clowning me, man. Yeah. They just love picking on my boy Rob. They, they think man. they is, but it's all good. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to throw no, that. Go I, ahead. I didn't mean to throw that curveball. Have a good time. So I got a couple of shows coming up. Uh, I've been fucking with the homie Shane. Mm-hmm. So I got so some stuff. Sam Manuel. No, that that um they closed down. Is that oh right? really? They closed down. Yeah. Um, they wasn't buying no drinks. They was it was it was packed with people in there, but they just weren't buying no drinks. You got to you got to uh, advertise to the alcoholics. Yeah, but I mean, they just weren't buying no drinks. So yeah, if he ain't buying no Jamie drinks, was, you ain't gonna be able to stay so open. So now, how much was the drinks? I mean, it was reasonable. But, I mean, like, but the people were like coming, taking a break from gambling. Mm-hmm. So as long as you gamble, you can drink for free. Right. So they want well, come why in. in heavens would they buy drinks? Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> when they came to the bar, when they came in there and they were sitting at the bar, you know, they was focused on the comedy. And, and you know, the leave, drinks are are free in Vegas. Yeah. They're free. They but, just keep but, the motherfuckers but coming. But you know what? A lot of that shit be watered down. Yeah. You know, they, no, just they, give you they, a, got, they got Paul Masson and Hennessy bottles and shit like that. Yeah. So. But they give you the stock liquor, though. Right. Yeah, yeah. They don't right. Give, they don't, they don't right. give you the name brand. They no. give you that bullshit. Well, that just, you enough, just enough to keep you keep you gambling. Gambling. That's exactly. all it is. Just to keep you gambling. Of course, they give you the drinks free. You just wet your whistle, huh? So I got some dates um, pending coming up with uh, Shane okay. in uh, Arizona, Arizona. Um, Memphis, and then I put out some calls. So I'm waiting for something to come back. You know, some comedy clubs across the country. So I can and start Robert, Robert, there. we know you you're not doing shit, right? I'll be at the J spot. <laughs> oh, okay. he, he sitting. He gonna yeah. be sitting and waiting for the rest of his hair to download. So yeah, yo, man, yeah, you know, it's all good. His career is, is buffering. <laughs> yeah, man, I keep telling y'all, man, I'm telling him in a complete transition of my life, man. Wow, boy, transition, boy, man. Get your ass on stage. Give me some information about that transition oh, real man, fast, you man. You know, like, you know. Transitional from, uh, housing is what we talking about. Oh, man, you got me over here <laughs> fucked up, man. <laughs> This dude nah, here. Go ahead. What, nah, what you talking about? No, nah, man, uh, you know, uh, it's it's been almost a you know a good year since that traumatic relationship that I had to filter from and be done with, and now I'm beginning to see the after effects of it, man. So you, know, you really you you really in love now with this young lady? I, I, I'm 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 comfortable in the in what we what we've been able to which I'll establish. Yeah, you. established. I'm comfortable okay, cool. with that. Something you know, good, man. I don't want no damn drunk. I can't use them. <laughs> they, they 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 ain't gonna do nothing but keep me <laughs> fucked up. How's her penmanship? 
I don't know. We we don't write letters. No, we text, man. There's no need to. Or we hit each other with a video chat. In fact, in fact, oh, you be we'll, sending her dick pics. <laughs> Come on, that ain't a way to start off a relationship, Robert. <laughs> Dude, Robert, man. you got to wait for that, man. Anthony Weiner did it. No shit. <laughs> hey, man. Wake up in the morning, send a dick pic. Like, good morning. Yeah. How you doing? Well, yeah. No, man. Hello. I mean, it's 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 been it's 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 a it's a challenge for me, but things is working out. The office is is pumping out good leads at work. So, you know? so you're saying that you don't send her dick pics? No. Okay, she uh, don't send you a picture. Not of yet. No, 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 no. Uh, well, you gotta get a, you Andre. Gotta, well, you gotta encourage her now. Uh, on Tuesdays, you know, it's Titty Tuesday. Yeah. So at least it, let so her send you a titty. Yeah, she gotta send you a titty. Uh, I, I, a right pic, now, I'm, uh, I ain't Tuesday. trying to. I ain't, I'm not trying to rush into the, to that part of the relationship. Are you gonna move to Houston? Bullshit. Are you gonna go move to? It's been a thought, man. The cost of living down there is, is not as serious as it is right out here in, in Los Angeles. How much is the average home? In, in uh, she, well, about the glad like this. Two dollars Maybe forty-two thousand. Forty-two thousand thirty cents. <laughs> the cost of a hairline. Yeah, you can buy them by, by the six pack. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's cheap. Bugs. Man, big countries, big big companies have moved to Texas. And like if you, Toyota. If you, buy, if you buy two, you get a free dust storm, don't you? <laughs> man, a lot of Fuck people is going to Texas, man. I don't know what I'm Texas gonna do. Texas is a beautiful place to stay, man. I love the state of yeah. Texas. Yeah, I spent a week there one Houston. day. Houston, Houston remind me of LA. Houston, uh, Houston Port got Arthur. The flying cockroaches. Yeah. There's flying cockroaches out here. Out here. Yeah, I've seen three of them. Shit. Yeah. Man, they got roaches yeah. downtown. They consider Houston, them as midgets. Texas and Port Arthur, man. I met some real decent, beautiful people there, man. You know, one thing I know, you're not going to starve down there. Oh, hell no. Everybody not in Texas. Can feed you down there. Oh, yeah. My brother stole a train in Longview, Texas. Yeah, she got a sister. Hey, hold up. Wait a train? Wait a minute. He a fucking hijack. He stole a fucking train. My younger Who brother the fuck guy. is he? Butch yeah. Cassidy, nah, Billy the Kid? He was hallucinating. He thought he, you know, he was he was hearing shit from Tupac. Damn. <laughs> yeah, my my he my uh, to Tupac. So he went down. To, he uh, he was working on the railroad. So he was on his way out he here. He stole to a fucking train. Yeah, he stole the train. And he know. tried to uh, hijack the train and bring it out here. Yeah. He How the fuck you gonna hide a train? How far did he get? He ain't get too far. Yeah, they stopped the motherfuckers. Yeah, how you go hide a train? How did they stop the train? You big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> That's some stupid shit right there. That's my younger brother, man. Man, stole the train. So stole the train, yeah. That's, that's remarkable. Anyway, we about to tie this segment up and put another one in the can. And tomorrow morning, uh, we're we going to have, have a, another president. We're going to have another president. 45th president. president. We're going to have another president. Hillary or it'd be uh, the redhead one of them. One of them pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Mark. Be your hey, next president. Hey, Mark, make sure you announce again the J Spot, November 11th. Right, right. Let them know, man. November 11th, the J Spot. Mm -hmm. This Friday, ladies, be, ladies free before 8 30. And thank you guys for tuning in to the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. It's Peace good to be to back. The world, America. Good. See you, America. Be safe. Hope, you, hope we got an America on the next show. And I hope you voted. <laughs> if you didn't vote, I don't want to hear your fucking complaints tomorrow. Fuck you. Exactly. No shit. Set.